If you would have told little 16-year-old me in Spanish class in 2014 that we would be standing here today, I would not have believed you. If our friends would have rebutted when I said, one day I will date Jacob Miller with, no, one day you will marry him, boy, I would have called them liars. From the challenges of doing long distance, not once, but twice, from you joining the military and having to write letters for months like we were in the notebook, to the craziness that college brought upon us, two dogs, two apartments, and over five years later, here we are. After five years, I still cannot believe that you chose me to be the one standing here with you today. You are the man I prayed for and dreamt of since I was a little girl. You make me feel so incredibly loved, valued, and respected. I love that you love your family and friends just as fiercely as I love mine, and that your family has become mine just as my family has become yours. You have been such a light in my life. You have been there through some of the roughest times and definitely through the best as well. You constantly give me such strength and motivation to be the best that I can become. You are always challenging me to be an even better version of myself. Your faith, strength, and determination are so contagious, and I cannot wait to walk alongside you and build a family and life with someone with such well-grounded morals and beliefs. Jacob, I cannot promise that I won't keep bringing home more puppies or other animals, but I do promise to take you as you are, loving who you are now and who you are yet to become. I promise that I will continue to support, encourage, and help build you to be your best self and reach your highest potential. I promise that I will see you as a gift and to be thankful for the gift that God gave me when he allowed us to meet and to be loved by you. I promise that I will not hold grudges or keep score, unless it's a card game, that doesn't count. I promise to keep being adventurous, to be your forever travel buddy, and to always make time for our relationship no matter how crazy life gets. I promise to be true to you, to uplift and support you, to frustrate and challenge you, and to share with you the beautiful moments of life. And maybe someday, if the stars align, I might even let you win an argument or two. I promise that you will be my one and only. No matter what storm may arise, I will always work to make our relationship the best that it can be. As a family, we we will create a home filled with constant learning, laughter, and compassion. You are my life, my joy, and today we finally get to become husband and wife. I adore you, Jacob. My love is yours forever and always. Jaylee, thank you for having what seemed to be an endless amount of faith in us throughout every trial and tribulation that we faced. I'm enough of a man now, compared to the slightly man-child that I was fresh out of high school, to realize many of those early trials and tribulations might have been self-inflicted. Sorry again for that. Uh, You do realize that the male brain doesn't fully develop till about 23 to 25, so we should be good now. All joking aside, thank you for the fierce love that you have in our future. Thank you for your thirst for Christ and the inspiration it brings for me to be a stronger man of God for you. Thank you for the relentless plans and Pinterest folders that you have for our future family and the endeavors of what life has to throw at us. Fingers crossed we can uh, catch a break with a few more ups compared to downs after all the grief 2020 has given us, though. My heart soars and I smile ear to ear every time I am able to to describe what makes you special to me. You are my person and I will gladly acknowledge myself as your almost better half. I adore you. I adore that my fondest memories tend to be all the little things. The fact that I have never found anyone with a case of the sniffles so attractive. The fact that you are the only person who can tolerate my road rage and then somehow be more mad at me when I choose to not use the horn to tell that, insert explicit here, that they are an idiot. The fact that we share countless nights where we nearly wake up the neighbors with our loud giggling at about 3 a.m., which is a reasonable time to go to bed. And the absolute truth that I will never meet someone who loves dogs as much as you do. And I will forever enjoy the roles that we play as each other's devil's advocate to all of our what-ifs and our hypotheticals. 
But most of all, I swoon over the fearless belief that you have as a dreamer that I am not. I vow to always do everything within my dying breath to clear a way for every dream you have and aid them to become our reality. I will always passionately wage war against any obstacle and demon that you are facing from this day on. I vow to always allow you to be my bliss and my focus when I am scattered and trapped within my own thoughts and anxiety. I vow that our partnership through life will rewrite the world's definition of a soulmate. I vow to cherish you each day and embrace your affection. I vow a lifetime from now to gracefully graze your cheek, not tracing what you would like to describe as wrinkles, but uh, all the markings of the memories of today, the day after, and our forever and always.